In this video, we're going to build a pressure sensitive controller into your Birchdot. For this project, we're going to need a breadboard, a 10K resistor, a 10K force sensitive resistor, a Phillips head screwdriver, and some jumper cables. First, we'll need to unplug our Birchdot. Then, using the Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the top four screws to remove the top plate. Next, using one of your male jumper cables, plug into tap 18 or 19 which on the PCB of the workshop provide us with a positive 5 volts. Next, take that 5 volts and run it into your breadboard. Then, we're going to want to use our 10K resistor and run that 5 volts through one lead. From here, we'll need to use our female jumper cables to hook up our force-sensitive resistor to our breadboard. Now, this is a variable force-sensitive resistor. The resistance changes as I apply force to this pad. Attach one lead of the force sensitive resistor to the opposite lead of the 10K resistor. Now, take the free lead of your force sensitive resistor and plug into your VCA in. If all of our jumpers are connected correctly, we're ready to plug our workshop back in. For this mod, we want to ensure that our VCA mode is set to the EG position or envelope generator. The 5 volts provided on the workshop PCB is being passed through this resistor into a secondary resistor, which is our force sensitive interactive one. This change in voltage tells our VCA when to engage and when not to. So you can see, as I press the force sensitive resistor, our VCA is engaged. This can be used for any kind of tremolo or gating effects. By using the voltage provided on the Werkstatt and a unique resistor, we were able to create an expressive controller for our instrument. All parts list and fritzing models are available online at werkstattworkshop.com. Thanks, and we look forward to seeing what you come up with.